Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we will continue our discussion about three dimensional figures. Now, we come to the next structure, the right circular cone. You know, something very similar to the ice cream cone or waffle that we have. This also would have the concept of surface area and volume. So, if it has radius of base r, when it comes to a cone, there would be two heights that would come into the picture. Let us say you have this ice cream cone. One would be the actual height starting from the base to the tip of the cone. And the other part is the slant height. For volume, we take the straight height h. In a right circular cone, we always make these three distinctions. Radius will remain r for the circular portion. Height h, which is for the straight height from the base of the circular part to the tip of the cone. And the other one is the slant height l. That is from the tip of the cone towards the end this way and it is slanting. That is why it is called slant height and it is given by L. Volume of a cone is 1 upon 3 pi r square h. Now pi r square h we knew is the volume of a right circular cylinder. So for the cone it is the same thing pi r square h but it is divided by 3. That is the volume of a cone. Now in a cone I told you there are two heights that come into the picture. One is the straight height h and the other one is the slant height l. So if the radius of base is r, straight height is h and the slant height is l, you can straight away use the theorem of Pythagoras and say r square plus h square is equal to l square. Now, for curved surface area of a cone, the formula is pi r l. Remember, it is l, the slant height. Curved surface area of a cone is pi r l. And total surface area of a cone, which means we are taking the circle. In this case, there is only one circle at the base. So, pi r square. So, pi r square plus pi r l. So, you can say total surface area of a cone is pi r and then into bracket r plus l. Thank you.